I do something that I really like doing, which is surgery, but I would hope at some point I may not need to do that, and people may not need cancer surgery. I can't think of any better days or the days when you look in the microscope and you see something totally unexpected. One of my coworkers actually wears a pin that I love, and it says, no, oncology nursing is not depressing. All of us care as much about each other's science as we do about our own. Fox Chase is just an awesome environment. It's really just a great place to be and a great place to work. Our ability to combine science with good clinical care will never get uh, uh, routine. This is the golden era because we now know more about the processes going on in the cancer cells and we can target those processes. What's interesting here is that someone who works on something that would look completely unrelated to what you do um, thinks of an amazing idea that you never would have thought of before. You don't have to be an expert at everything and so there's always an opportunity for you to collaborate with someone else who's an expert in something else to really be able to answer the questions that you need. I can't tell you the number of times We've talked about something and then I'll get an email four hours later, I've been thinking about your project, you know, did you think about this? To have your own peers look at your work, evaluate it and give it criticism on the inside, actually make sure that it is a better product when it leaves the center. We're teaching high school students now, um, so they're doing their own self-designed independent projects and several of them have gotten absolutely amazing results and I see it and I'm like, this is huge. So as soon as those light bulbs go on, you know, then I think, okay, we passed it on. My husband was treated here uh, starting in 2008. He was diagnosed with a very aggressive uh, head and neck cancer. There's just so many people here that have been so good to us. The infusion room, oh my God, I can go on and on about all those nurses there, how wonderful they were. I just saw a nurse, I was in the gift shop, and like she remembered Dan. Remember him very fondly, often she would come in and we had a favorite candy that we would share and she'd slip it into my pocket and it was just a nice little, I hope you have a nice afternoon, thanks for taking care of us. When he would walk out of here after treatment, he'd be ill, but it would give him the opportunity to hold my daughter's hand, to kiss me goodnight, to give my son guidance and I'm I can never thank the doctors, the nurses, and the people here for giving us that. I've had the privilege of taking care of family, friends, employees of Fox Chase I've taken care of. And I, I think that's what's most satisfying for me is that I really feel like I'm taking care of my community. It's a chance to get to know people very well, even though I'm only seeing them maybe every six months. There are patients there that I've been following for, for 35 years and have had more than one cancer along the way, and they're still coming back. Do you have any interaction with... Oh, you know, she knows a number of my... Do you I, um, well, I know you know, one patient in oh, particular oh, who yeah. was told by her doctor that, that they couldn't help her, and she said, I can still remember Dr. Engstrom saying, I think I can help you, and she's still living. What's been amazing to me in the 10 years in my practice is for the major cancers we take care of, there's been a revolution in the ways and means to treat advanced cancer. I go see my mother every night. I have done that for the last several years. And every time I see her smile, um, I'm, I'm rewarded. I never really had that opportunity to be touchy-feely with my mom. It seems so insincere. And it seems so natural for me to tell my mom now when I pick her up, Mom, I love you. That's, I've gotten that extension, that gift you know, from Fox Chase. Sometimes, I, I suspect, people give money so they can get better treatment. Everybody at Fox Chase, is a, every patient's a VIP. We were already receiving the VIP treatment just by walking in the door. Part of how science has changed and medicine has changed in the last 10 years is indebted to young, bright, driven doctors and scientists being drawn into the field of medicine and oncology. And the current 
governmental funding and situation in science makes it a challenge for people to want to continue to do that. And I would hope that there's going to be a means, if not through federal funding, but through philanthropy and in support of, of donors who see a value in that kind of experience. These are people who are part of this community and part of this enterprise. But this place makes it very easy for you to want to give back. I mean, it, in, in the end, it is, I think, people caring about other people whether it's our nurses caring for our patients, or our physicians caring for our patients, or scientists caring for each other, or for their trainees. There's a sense that all of us are in this to move the progress in cancer research forward. We're growing, we're vibrant, we're ready for the next generation. This is a place you can be proud to be part of.